Hello, and welcome to this episode of Church at Home. Father Ed here. Father Dominic. And we are uh, one man down this week. Father Michael is off at a conference, uh, but he will be back uh, for the weekend. And uh, so we're on the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and I was, um, in a little bit of my study, I found out that this is now yet another discourse of Jesus in the Gospel of St. Matthew. So we had the first one was the Sermon on the Mount, and then we had the missional discourse. You remember I mentioned that a couple weeks ago. And now we're beginning the parable discourses, discourse of parables. And so, as a matter of fact, this from the 13th Gospel, or chapter of Matthew's Gospel, and we are going to spend the next three Sundays uh, reflecting on the uh, parables discourse of Jesus from the 13th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. So you know what a parable is. Um, a parable is, um, well, it's a comparison, this to that. But uh, I guess the Hebrew word um, for parable is really a riddle or a proverb. And so... So uh, in this Sunday's Gospel, we have the parable of the sower and the seed, pretty famous. And uh, so Father Dominic and I were talking, uh, and I was talking about uh, that little phrase that we teach our children, and that was taught to us, to help us not to be too vulnerable to other people's words. You know, so sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, we understand what that's trying to do for us, but at the same time, I was wondering if that doesn't maybe train us not to be open to God's word. And uh, so especially today, you know, people, uh, they don't want to hear what God has to say to them, uh, like the truth of God's word for them, uh, the truth of the teaching of the church, as everybody now has to come up with their own truth. So um, that might be a, a challenge for us. Um, but I mean, you were saying something additional to that. Yeah, uh, you know, so words are indicative of a relationship. And so, obviously, when somebody is, you know, saying something uh, offensive to you, um, it's not the words that are hurting, but it's the kind of hurt relationship. But on the contrary, um, you know, God's word, that is a sign of God's relationship. And so, we, we can't just look at the word of God as, you know, uh, amorphous letters on, on, a, on a wall or in you know a book of the bible but really the book of the bible is a love letter from god and then the word incarnate is is jesus christ and so getting to know the word uh, allows us to enter into that relationship with with um with our lord and uh, and so so we need to be mindful of how how open we are to the word of god um you know w with our loved ones if if we don't hear or if we don't speak good things to our loved ones or don't hear the good things they have to say, that very much inhibits our, our loving relationship. So likewise, we need to let the word of God to grow in our hearts, especially in relationship with Jesus. Right. Yeah, St. Jerome, the famous, the most famous um, Bible scholar in the history of the Catholic Church, he was the one who said ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. So that's uh, to Father's a very good point there. Uh, and you know, the first reading from this Sunday uh, is uh, Isaiah 55 is rather famous, that God's word does not go forth from God without accomplishing that or the good that it was intended to uh, accomplish. So um, I think this, uh, the love letter from God, that's a beautiful, uh, thing for us to think about and so I'm wondering or we are maybe are wondering uh, are we allowing ourselves are we susceptible enough 
to the Word of God and uh, who is Jesus Christ in our lives and could we ask the Holy Spirit to help us to be more uh, vulnerable you know to let our guard down and to uh, meet the Lord Jesus in the Word and in the truth of the church and in the love of neighbor and uh, maybe our hearts could be changed by that power so yeah. all right well happy bible praying this week we'll see you in church God bless see you